White House is hoping to solve a decades-long environmental problem. Crumbling oil wells have been leaking toxins into soil and water in dozens of communities across the United States. And then there it is flowing up out of the ground there. President Biden putting a spotlight on a little-known problem that's causing big issues for farmers and ranchers across the country. The EPA says there are about 3.2 million abandoned oil and gas wells in the U.S. Only a third have been plugged with cement. The rest are leaking harmful chemicals into fields and water sources, including methane and benzene, both known carcinogens. It's like, oh my God, like this whole, this whole place is just you know, Swiss cheese of old oil wells that are falling apart. Now the president is making a big push to clean things up. The bipartisan infrastructure deal includes at least $16 billion to cap and clean abandoned wells and mines. The White House claims federal funding for those projects will revitalize local economies that have depended on drilling to survive. Administration officials say family farms will be prioritized, but the cleanup is also about making sure drillers and miners don't get left behind as the country shifts towards sustainable energy. But it won't be easy. The infrastructure funding is just a down payment. Most of the money the administration is requesting hasn't been approved by Congress, so they'll be asking the oil and gas industry to pitch in to solve what has become a national problem. And this isn't a problem isolated to the Permian. This is East Texas, this is Pennsylvania, this is Ohio, this is West Virginia. This is a global industry problem. And the president says this is a jobs program as well. He wants to put drillers and miners to work capping those wells at the same price they would charge to dig them.